Jai Shri Ram. Welcome to Astrology with Abhilasha. Today we are going to talk about Pap Kartari Yoga. And while discussing Pap Kartari, I would like to reiterate that it is very important a yoga to see in charts in order to make correct predictions. Because sometimes we come across charts which are very good to look upon at first glance. But if we dive deeper, we understand that the life does not resonate with the condition of planet. In those charts, I have seen Pap Kartri as a major factor of not rewarding the native what he or she is uh, capable of. So you have to check this while reading the chart that if a Pap Kartri is getting formed. Do not ignore it uh, thinking that this is a very generic uh, combination and it might not yield result. It is not the case. There is another variation of Pap Kartri which is Pap Madhya. But we will discuss about it some other time. Today we are discussing about Pap Kartri. So, uh, when does Pap Kartari get formed? First of all, we should understand that in my practice, I have taken its formation on the Lagna Lord, Sun and Moon to be very specific. I do not take it on every Karaka, but on the Lagna Lord, Sun and Moon. But if you wish and you would like to uh, do research, you can apply it in all the karakas. Okay, like Venus, you can apply Pap Kartri. If it is getting formed in a chart, then you can see what is the condition of the married life of a person or what is the condition of comfort in the life of that person. So first and foremost, these three, then... I take Pap Kartri, which is getting formed on the Yokarak planet of a chart. Say for uh, Saturn in Libra ascendant. If that is getting formed on Saturn, so you should understand that a very pivotal planet for the ascendant of Libra is getting afflicted by this Pap Kartri yoga. So how does this get formed? So whenever in a horoscope, the Lagna, Sun, Moon, or a Yogacara planet comes in between two malefics. That is, if you say Mars is in the ascendant and two malefics, per se, a Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, prominently taken. Some of school of thoughts also take uh, Sun and Mars as malefics. But uh, I've seen major results are given when a planet is in between him, in between Saturn, Rahu, and Ketu. Okay, so let's say if Mars is hemmed uh, between Saturn on one side and Ketu on the other, then this Pap Kartari is getting formed. Now, as I discussed, what is Pap Madhya in the starting of a video? So, let me give you a little bit of preview. So, Pap Madhya gets formed when uh, 212 planet sitting in the 212 is only malefic. And Pap Katri is formed when the planet sitting in the second house to the planet concerned we are talking about is also retrograde. Then it is forming the effect of Kartari. Otherwise, it is simply a Pap Madhya. Pap Kartari releases you from its clutches in due course of time. For say, like if you process the age of 36, it will reduce the effect of Pap Kartari. But the effect of Pap Madhya, that is when both the planets in 2 and 12 to the concerned planet are malefic and neither of them is retrograde. 
then that is pap madhya and that is very hard to negate so if the planet in the second is retrograde then it is kartri and it is easily not easily but yes it is mitigated in due course of life all right similarly if a yogkarak planet of a particular ascendant gets hemmed between two malefics then also this uh, effect of getting hemmed between two evil planets planets which are not very uh, helpful gives the result of kartri then what will and how it will affect your life it is very simple to say then whenever in a chart you see this yoga getting formed you can simply state to the person or predict to the person that they do not get equivalent amount of reward as much as they do put in the efforts the rewards are not equivalent to it and this stays the theme of life throughout if they do not remedy this yoga they often get rewards at a later period of life in the later span of life they might do complete effort put in complete effort and make a great a product but somebody else will snatch away the accolades which they deserve this theme stays in the family in professional life everywhere in their social circle as well so this sometimes gets very disheartening for a person who's actually putting all the efforts and not getting the rewards which are due to him or her so sometimes you also see that if pap kartri is getting formed in a chart once in life that person might end up losing whatever he or she have achieved till date so these are one of the combination where i a very um, i emphasize a lot on remedy on particularly this combination because this can actually take away a lot from you in matter of few months or years right whatever you have achieved in a long run of time secondly what is the second condition uh, in which pap kartri gets formed the second condition is that if the planet which is making pap kartri that is again we can take the example of libra ascendant let's say if uh, mars is getting hemmed between two malefics but one of the malefic in either second or 12th to mars is saturn now for libra ascendant saturn again becomes a yogkarak now this will take away the bad effect of this combination and actually reduces the ill effect to only 30% because saturn which is uh, you know hurting the planet mars is actually a yog karak for libra okay i hope this is clear now similarly we can say if a uh, the planet which are hemming say the lagna lord sun or moon either of it is exalted or in its own mool trikona then also this reduces the effect of uh, kartri if the planet which is falling in kartri which is getting hemmed by malefics itself is exalted in mool trikona or in a friendly sign vargottama or in a good namansha then also you can say that the effect of the maleficence of this uh, yog gets uh, reduced to a large extent so we should keep in check these parameters in order to make a prediction 
all right so if we see that uh, either of the planet is exalted is a yoga kara then we can say ki, okay you will not achieve as much as you work hard towards the goal but with little bit of remedies little bit of extra effort you can actually mitigate the ill effect of this right now again there is this another condition which uh, mitigate the effect of this pap kartri which is if uh, the planet which are hemming the malefics which are hemming this uh, particular lagna lord sun moon or any other yoga karak if either of this planet is at 0 degree 29 degree or 1 degree then also you can say that it is losing the grip on this particular planet then also this yoga is not formed or it will not give the result to its fullest so this is also one condition which we should understand now again as i have told you the status of this planet affect a lot on what results and to what extent this kartri yoga will give the negative results so you should be very careful in watching it out all right so uh, all right so let me take an example as well okay i might not be able to share the screen but let me take an example i will tell you so let's take the example of siddharth malya the son of mr vijay malya so we all know he was born in a very uh, prominent family but here we see the sun is exalted in the 10th house it is again digbali so it clearly depicts the status of his father which was very affluent and well to do but as you can see it is between rahu and mars rahu is retrograde again so this justifies that the father of this particular native once in life will see a downfall in which everything he created will be snatched from him and this effect was very very evident but as we all know there is a saving grace he walked out of india and now he is already living in a different country and having his life all right because sun is exalted here the planet which is him itself is exalted all right so this is how it is getting mitigated and i'm sure this person this native himself will do fairly well in coming years of his life all right so okay so this takes me to the end of this video this is all from my side on pap kartri yoga and pap madhya yoga i hope you apply it on videos and check for yourself that how it works the best remedy which i've seen working for this uh, yoga is wearing the gem stone of the concerned planet now how to decode which gem stone works for this particular combination depends on individual charts so i cannot suggest you that but gem stone effect readily in this combination all right that is all from my side uh jashiram see you again in some other week